So this is our uh, plot number. Uh, I believe this is plot number seven. No, this is, I think it's plot number six. So mark each of the corners. Each of our corners is marked with an orange um, color, orange spray paint. The center post is marked with a yellow. And the center combined with each of those corners divides each of our uh, permanent monitoring plots into quarters so that we can more easily survey them. We work our way through each of the fourths, monitor them, um, and, and denote all the <clears throat> woody species. Uh, things like these invading tallow, these non-native tallow right here that should not be here. These guys that are uh, that that came and sp were here before, but really dramatically spread post um, post Katrina, uh, and then uh, our other woody species. Um, in addition to denoting those individuals, the, the size, the diameter, breast height, and the height of those trees, we also um, note uh, the fern understory, which is an indicator of closed canopy. We note the um, blackberry, which is a measure of sort of more early successional disturbance, highlight environments, such as all this blackberry right here. When we have to go through blackberry when it's really thick, it's a problem. We have to machete through, but th um, this plot is relatively open. Um, and, uh, and then we also denote, um, well, not necessarily woody, quote unquote, we also denote um, elderberry, um, like that bad boy poking up through the canopy. Um, we will also do logs. So here's an example of a log. So a log for us, by our definition, is anything larger than my forearm. So if I put my forearm down here, you will see that this, um, this log is, is, is as thick as, more, you know, higher, di larger diameter than my forearm, so therefore this would count as a log. I do the maximum diameter and the length. We also see a lot of rabbit poop that rabbits seem to like to sit on these logs, these swamp rabbits. Swamp rabbits, like, right? So you'll see a lot of, a lot of uh, rabbit poop all over these, these logs as the rabbits hang out there and get a better vantage point. Um, and then we also do overstory cover of natives, overstory cover of exotics, and then we do a densiometer estimate in each of the fourths of our plots. Um, so that's our monitoring, our permanent monitoring, long-term monitoring out here at um, our Woodlands Preserve. Um, in this case, in uh, late March of 2023, that's how we look at long-term change in this forest. And, and one, change in the forest, and two, how successful our restoration, our, our suppression efforts have been of trying to control the invaders, invaders and trying to introduce um, natives by, by planting and other uh, restoration efforts to recover the um, traditional overstory of this mar mar uh, this uh, bottomland harbor forest. And you can see, not marsh, it's a, it's a swamp. Um, but you can see right here, a lot of sky, right? If we look up, a lot of blue sky, a lot of nice puffy white clouds. That uh, quote unquote should not be here, right? So we should have tall trees, 15, 20, 25 meters high, a closed canopy. It should be relatively shaded and it should be relatively park-like underneath here were this to be a really healthy intact forest. We also see evidence of some of our management here. So the cutting off of the natural sediment supply combined with the active pumping of this uh, region of uh, this coastal plain. And so this tree probably originally was up to about here was up to about here in terms of soil. And the soil, as you can see, it's sort of uh, compacting away and exposing these roots, these buttresses and these, um, these roots. And uh, we see more and more of that. And so, in fact, some of the areas is, is up to maybe like a half meter or so of, of drop down. And so we'll see buttress roots, which should be buried in the ground, sometimes just straight out in the air. Another measure of stress, another measure of uh, changing um, dynamics in this particular uh, coastal forest here in southern Louisiana. So lots of management challenges, lots of um, ways to bring practical field survey skills and the kind of things that uh, uh, a good field, bio field biologist would understand, pick up quite readily, um, and a great 